my fellow gangsters and gangsterettes welcome back once again point four kaiser redux very surprising right today i'll be playing as shang chi because obviously everyone loves the crusades and for some reason shang chi can become a crusader state i'm gonna make it happen i tried looking up online how to make it happen but i didn't really find any path guides or anything like that so I'm, I'm thinking I might even be the first guy. Because look at this shit. The Feng's Crusade for the Eastern Expedition will become Christian and holy. I do love that. How will make it happen? I don't know, actually. I, I guess we'll see, right? For now, we go through our paths as per usual. We might get something worthwhile after the Shandong Rebellion is my guess because they also have something similar right or maybe they don't i don't know actually because i feel like that the, we're supposed to become social uh, radical socialists right feng yu xian the guomingen i feel like i've heard that name before no idea where oh there you go yang and feng meet in taiwan to discuss funding in the usual weekly meeting between yan and feng in the shang -Chi's capital the discussion of funding for both feng and yan's Numerous projects has led to several ideas being put forward. A meeting among friends, it seems. Oh, but there we go. And I guess we need to develop Yan Shishan's thought before we can take all of these decisions. All right, all right. We'll we'll make it happen. I will give control to Feng. Northwestern Shangxi peasants protest against German encroachment. That will only benefit us. And Feng ignores Yan's authority. Ooh, good. Keep doing that, Feng. We most likely are supposed to favor Yan. And the AI is playing against us by giving us these debuff events. Oh, actually, never mind. It's just randomized. Just forget I said anything. <laughs> I'm just going to click every decision I can to give bonuses to Feng. But Yan keeps improving his own situation. There we go. We'll take this one and we'll take that one. Feng wants to handle Western Shang-Chi protests. Oh, yeah. Let him do it. I'm guessing he'll get some influence out of it. Just delegate everything we can to him. There we go. Control of the government increases. We still have abysmal... Well, Feng still has abysmal control of the government, but we'll change that eventually. Militarily, though... We're doing just fine. Next up, we will need to go for the benevolent dictatorship. It will increase Yan's control of the government by 2%, but it'll also, you know, allow us to take this decision. Comprehensive Christian mission. Petition for Malin from military aid. Yes, of course. Send aid. Feng hosts a dinner. Oh, good. It's got 80% control of the military there we go begin comprehensive christian mission right and in the meantime we'll also deal with i don't know corruption or some stuff like that a german mining company has approached us with a proposal that we assist them in their operation within changshi they've offered Jan 30 percent profits from the mines highly unpopular yes that might do a little something for us i don't know can only try right oh more control of the government yeah see i knew it that's why he chose it Outrage over German mining in Western Shangxi. Because I get a factory and more Feng control. He denounces the fact uh, the the mining operation. It's good for us. I do hope we get to keep it after we boot out the Germans. Though. So open them bust with Lieutenant Wu, a well entrenched officer within Yan's government. Uh, maybe house arrest will be sufficient. Yes. And then there will obviously be outrage. This is what I'm hoping. Oh damn, Shangxing is a uh, quite large. Lieutenant Wu controversy spreads. Damn you, Wu. Damn you. And the opinion of the Yan government is at an all-time low. I mean, hey, I'm not causing that, or am I? Uh oh widespread corruption minus 100? God damn, that kind of sucks. I'm hoping after we do the corruption thing in 15 days, that event will no longer pop off. Oh, there we go. Things bring Feng brings aid to poor rural villages. Of course, let him do as he wants. He will get more influence and we get stability. Oh, we can already do the bloodless coup. That's very quick. Feng has secured the support of both the government and the military and has taken control of Shangxi in a bloodless coup. Yang Shishan has decided to gracefully step aside given that he considers Feng's vision for the future of Shangxi as sufficiently similar to his own, despite Feng's zealous Christianity. Feng has allowed Yan to remain in an advisory post, as Yan's insight may well be required in the challenges that are sure to come in the future. Christian missionaries are holding special services, with hundreds coming forth to be baptized across Shangxi, further cementing Feng's Christian power base among the popular among the population of Shangxi. In one particular incident, due to the high volumes of seeking to be baptized, Feng after the pragmatist suggested using a fire hose to baptize the masses. <laughs> Very cool, Feng. Very cool indeed. Just fire hose them hose down, man. Motherfucker invented factory baptizing. What the hell, man? 
He's insane. Somebody stop him. Oh, there we go. Corrupt officials have been removed. Perfect. Do we have Jesus leading the army? No, sadly not. Oh, oh, our former guy, Jan, is a brilliant strategist, though. I'll put him in charge, man. I don't give a fuck. Is that Elon Musk? No, he looks a little... I don't know, man. Something's off. Elon Musk been drinking too much. I don't know, fucking toilet water or something. Oh, Ungern descends upon Xinjiang. You know what? Langshu shall be the western gate of the millenarian state. Yes. Which tile is that this one yeah i want it give it to me oh they just declared war on us i should have should have known man i'm pumping out a bunch of troops that have been training i guess in there be aggressive while there's no one on the front line go to langzhou yeah just just keep moving my dude take the capital as well while we're in here because i'm guessing this is probably going to be an event we can get american advisors what the hell you guys in here you guys in here go on to Xining, please retake langzhou because apparently we lost it at some point i've actually done the most in this war that's even the most surprising thing for me. I hope I get the most then. I should though, right? <laughs> what? I think I am. You will not stop me. Ah, they might stop me. Oh, actually, never mind. I just stole all that land. Just like that. Mongolian Khanate, my ass. I am going to park my troops up north because you never know what they'll try and uh, have th themselves do up on us. I do want to do the Feng's Crusade, I think, instead of joining the fray. That sounds like a lot more fun. We got an army of 14 dudes. That's pretty good actually for where we started off with i do have to say mongolia those are some disgustingly gross borders i hope you can fix that oh thank you i'm guessing i might be on the chopping block next when it comes to um the mongolian khanate the way i'm looking at these borders i'm feeling kind of stretched thin let's go give me those claims i can hopefully core my lands with that we have most of our stuff cored, but i think yeah five million of our stuff isn't cored yet i wonder what land it is i'm guessing the tibetan land Oh no, it's actually almost all of our land. Go for the reconciliation, my dudes. Come on. We're all Chinese in here. Oh no, Tibet's also part of the faction. Are you kidding me? This is gonna be rough then. I would love to do the Eastern Expedition. I cannot. Not until I know I'll be safe off the off of the Mongolians. How the Russians go after the Mongolians soon? I get a non-aggression pact with you. No. They have strategic reasons to be uh, hostile to us. Who would have thought? With the Buddhist National Liberation Front? What the hell? What does that even mean? And Buddhist National Liberation Front. So this isn't the mad, mad Baron. This is a regular Baron, right? I mean, he doesn't have the head injury. So my thought is, if he doesn't have the head injury, I should be safe, right? Now watch me eat my words. I'll put my troops in here. And we'll see what happens. How many troops does the Qing have, actually? Now that I think about it. Oh, they have a lot of manpower, that's for sure. Mm, more troops than me. Probably a tw uh, 30... 35 or something like that. We need more troops if we want to, like, face them. 23 units. We need more factories, though. More than 10, and then we might be able to compete with the rest of the Chinese miners. I'm going to stand back if he's the Mongol rebel. Okay. But they're still... He still hasn't gone crazy, so that's good. Let's go for funding the modernization. It's 105 days, goddamn. But I think it's going to be necessary. So who funds it? Us? Yeah, we funded ourselves, I think. That's all of our political power. Oof, and a massive debuff to political power gain as well. That's an interesting Austria, huh? Illyria is massively overpowered. German-controlled Caucasus. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Let's not forget this fucking C-shaped faction surrounding me. Oh, modernization shall begin. Finally, this is over. Good. Let's get ourselves some buildings. Need more than 10 factors and I'll be golden. And a bit of a stronger army i guess wait ching declared war on Chong. oh that's actually perfect never mind stop training please stop training begin eastern expedition as soon as that pops off we are gonna go after the ching hop off another unit i don't care if he's barely equipped he will fight i don't care if that's a child soldier or something we will win there we go move in boys move in actually yeah you my friend go in here never mind you my friend i want to go i want you to go to beijing if it's somehow possible no you go to Uber, uh, beijing then there we go. I feel like we're in a great position currently. And deal with this one dude that we're about to encircle as well. Please go to Berlin. Ah, oh, damn it. I was a bit too overzealous. Let's slow down time maybe, huh? So we do not repeat that mistake. I can still think... I think I can still, like, unencircle this dude. And then probably take Berlin any... Uh, not Berlin. <laughs> Beijing, anyway. If it's gonna be like that, might as well go to Shanghaguan, I guess. Oh, damn it. Another encirclement. Are you kidding me? Get this instrument of one singular troop. It'll help us in the long run, I think. As for this guy, I don't know how to free him. I think we might just have to take that loss on the chin. Although, saying that... Keep defending. I think I can get him out. Oh, there we go. We freed the boy. Let's crush this one guy, and then maybe even these two. That would be perfect. Who's done more? 
I've done more, so I should be fine. <sighs> Problem is, we need more tiles, man. Let's go down here, and I think after we take that, Beijing's probably the only thing that we still need. Can I go to Beijing like this, maybe? <laughs> That's a long shot, but you never know. I really should have been more careful, I think, with the losing of Beijing. I could have had it all, man. I mean, we are going. That's the dumbest part, too. It's actually... Oh, no, never mind. I was gonna say... No, actually, it does seem to be working. Sure, we got cut off. It's not the end of our world. Although they are pretty much just encircling us. Come on. You can make it. You can make it, my dudes. You gotta get to Zhengzhou, if at all possible. That's a major VP. Oh, we finished this encirclement finally. That's good, at least. Can I crush this one real quick so that we're over and done with it? Also lost a couple of units. I'm not a huge fan of that. The longer this goes on, the worse it gets. Come on, take their new capital before it's too late. Ah, uh, they have a unit there. Let them escape. There we go. Five points, five points, five points. Yeah, I kind of need all three, actually. Man, this is rough. This is very, very rough. We got Beijing. We lost one of these ones. I think we need Zhengzhou. Somehow. That rhymes. Let's keep going. Oh, jeez. This guy's uh, at the end of the road. Pretty much. I need him to hold out as long as is humanly possible. Long enough for us to hopefully make a difference. Please keep guarding my capital. While we're in here, <sighs> try to go to Zhengzhou through the north, right? Maybe that'll work. Oh, just a little bit longer. Survive a little bit longer. Oh, this is absolute hell, man. <laughs> We're so close. Oh, thank God it's over. And we did most of the work. I will annex everything I can, man. It's all rightfully my land. See? Those borders look okay, I think. And assume national leadership. God, that was rough, though. <laughs> God damn, we barely survived. Let's go for Christian statism, then. A Christian general. Whatever that means. <laughs> oh, and look at that. We can core stuff. Man, it's this one. Submit, please. Core this, core this. I'm guessing Sichuan will not submit, so... I'll send my troops across already. I won't get these troops in time for them to matter on an intimidation scale against the Sichuan clique. Although, might be close. I'll, I'll, I'll pump them out. One day to spare, that's actually incredible. They refuse to yield. That means I will uh, crush them mercilessly. Charge, my boys. Charge! It's green all around because they were kind of busy with the Kunming national government and the Guangzhou nationalist government. Oh, I should have no problem moving in. And quite quickly, we are still getting everything we need war score wise. So we might even just get all of Sichuan then. Let's demand uh, Hunan then next up, right? To submit to us. Once we're done with this, at least. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. No. Hunan, submit. Uh-oh. Feng Tian is actually going after us soon. Okay, let's go and deal with that then. If Hunan refuses, we'll just leave them be for the time being then, I guess. Ooh, we even get some guns. Thank you, kind sir. Sorry, buddy. I'm taking everything. It's all rightfully Guomindun land. Jesus demands us to conquer all of that, okay? You don't understand. I knew it. There we go. They refuse. That makes sense, I guess. But my troops are arriving on the front line, so that's good. There's not that many troops on the front line currently, though. Hmm. We might be able to crush them then. Demand Tibet to give up. Why not, right? You never know. They might decide to be like, you know what? He asked nicely. We'll give him what he wants. We're currently trying to force a push through. <laughs> Luckily, it's not working at all. I think I'll just let them slide up against me. Until they're satisfied. Oh, Tibet submits to us. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. <laughs> they just straight up did it. Uh, demand the same from the Chengguo, please. Or Shangxi. Shang? Ching? There we go. We really don't have any factories whatsoever, huh? Shangqing also <clears throat> refuses. That's fair. I'll just demand everyone. Because why not? We don't lose anything with that. Kunming also refused. And now one final left. And that's the Mongolians. It would be nice if they submitted would remove some of the units that are we are facing off of our front line put them in here while that are suffer massive attritions i'm not gonna call in mongolia even if they were to join me i usually do the feng chen war one-on-one -on -one anyway because as you can see we're holding out just fine i might go after hunan in the meantime while i'm waiting on uh the feng chen to grind themselves up against me so what else am i gonna do with that right mongolian yeah everyone pretty much refused other than tibet which was also in a faction with the Mongolians, so I'm surprised they did. Then again, I usually expect them to just... I usually expect it to get approximately zero people on my side, so... Right, let's go after Hunan while we're in here, right? Well, if we have the political power, of course, which is going to take a while. Well, two weeks, rather. No, damn it. Kunming is fighting them. Oh, the game crashed. Give me a second. Gotta reboot it. There we go. Boot it back up. We're on the 1st of May, of course, but it is what it is. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I guess they got the AI got reset, huh? That's perfect. Oh no, never mind. I thought they were gonna go back off. Yeah, they might still. I would have loved to get Shanghua Guan. 
How the fuck do these, these names sometimes? It's, it's very difficult. Oh, that's a cool wall, though. I, I want to see that one day. Shun Hai Guan. There we go. I think that's why we pronounce it. No, it doesn't seem like it's possible, at least in these tiles. In here, it seems possible, so I will push in. We'll get the natural border of the water. Damn it, Ma Zanshang. I will find him. I will kill him. He stole our money and fucked off. Okay, let's not attack, I guess. It's still too much of a slog. Let's have them attack us instead then. Oh, we're about to face Yunnan. Let's, Yunnan, let's go. Oh, we just get a... Damn it, we just get a CB. Never mind. Move in, boys. Move in. On some tiles. Yeah, there we go. We are pushing in. Take their capital. Go to Shangde. That might actually already be enough. I kind of hope it will be. In here in the meantime. Easy. Quarter of a million already dead. Impressive, I'd say. Let's go, boys. We can do it. Keep crushing them. Oh, there we go. Come on. We can do it keep pushing i can see the capital in the far distance I Want everyone that can go to the capital god damn it good <clears throat> we're almost there watch this instrument and deal with the capital god damn it this has gotta be it this has gotta be it one unit left in Chengde, and it's done i did not have most of the war participation so sadly i'll have to settle for scraps well i got three of the tiles they got one so maybe it's not that bad. I'm thinking maybe let's deal with the Kunming government as well. For now, there's no naval invasions. So send in our boys and attack the Kunming government. There we go. A bunch of units released into the wilds. Make sure to march them properly. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want you to do that. Please do not. We can get attacked. That's fine. I just don't want them to push into Fengtian just yet. I'll deal with Fengtian once I'm done with the Kunming, I think. And maybe even the Shangqing. I'll see. Oh, we got our CB. Let's go. Declare war. I'm moving quickly, please. They really realize what's going on. You go to Nanning. You go to Qingyuan. Guangzhou. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone move in, please. We're so close to Nanning. Just take it, man. I mean, we got Nanning at least, so that's good. But they're already trying to encircle me. Damn it, I lost Nanning. At least I'm close to Kunming. Oh, Nanning is free once again. I would like to take it, please. And this is a mess, though. Can't wait for... Uh... Guangzhou one couldn't mean to be dead. Wait, what the hell? No, I fucked it. You know what? Let me reload. That's a major blunder. I didn't realize. I completely forgot about the front up north because it was so static and peaceful. We were just grinding down the enemy. What other care in the world? There we go. That's more like it. Yeah, that's more like it. Just sit there and relax until we're ready to deal with you. Can we break through? I think we just need this one tile for couldn't mean to fall, right? Let's get the logistics wizard. Very important. Adaptable, of course. Very good. That's why we've been grinding them. Sadly, we only got one adaptable. Frontline down south has stabilized. We're still lacking a lot of resources. It's gonna take us a billion years before we build this up. That's okay. We got a lot of trucks. I'm thinking it might be time to motorize. Yeah. We need more trains, so let's steal as well some trains off of the civilians. There we go. Supply lines secured. Let's start with a little limited assault. And some key provinces where I believe we have a pretty big chance of pushing through with minimal casualties. Not that Guiyang. One step closer to taking you. Once we have it, I'm pretty sure at least Kunming will fall apart. Oh, there we go. We get everything. Most of everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get everything, man. The AI seems to be very stupid when it comes to peace deals. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Not? Definitely is. I do wonder how many units does Shangqing have? If they don't have that that much, I'll probably just go after them. Uh might need one more 24 stack. I don't believe I have the equipment for that just yet. I mean, I guess I could go after the Feng Chan, but they seem to be nicely contained. I guess I could also go after Mongolia. How many units do they have? They have, I don't know, man. I think for sure more than I do. Although manpower that's fielded seems to be very similar. So I'm guessing their units are kind of trashed here. There we go. Everyone will join the main front line against the, what they're calling, what are they calling it? Shang? Ching? Yeah. Eh, we don't need this. At least not for the time being. Alright, let's attack Shangqing. Let's start some integrations as well, right? While we're at it. Get some more factories out of it. Look at the casualties. 600,000, man. I love it so much. Oh, there we go. We got our claim. Integrate some more land, eh? Good. Let's, uh, let's go. What? It is so green. All right, some of it has turned red, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure I can just straight up smash through without much problem. I like that this child keeps giving me guns. It's very responsible. Whoever raised that child is a hero. Keep gaining some factories from coring all of our stuff. That's nice. Two more two more cores on the way. In the meantime, keep charging in. We gave our troops enough rest. Oh, damn, we even have a... A dockyard, that's cute. I think we're almost done with the army reforms, actually. All right, I think our troops are starting to get a little weary. 
Let them rest a little bit. Yeah, we're lacking pretty much everything right now. Okay, Mongolian Khan declared war on the People's Revolutionary Army? What? Oh, uh, this one. Yeah, I was just like, what the hell do they mean? Maybe that means that's this is the ideal time for us to go after Mongolia. Let's finish up Shangqing and focus on Mongolia real quick. Hopefully. Come on, get to their capital. I'm guessing. No, not quite enough to have just their capital. But there's a lot of EPs in here. If we take them as well, maybe that'll be the end. Yeah, keep trying, Feng Chin. I'm, I'm very proud of you and stuff like that. You're doing very well. You're gonna very well. I'm happy to get all of Chongqing. There we go. Now I'll just attack Mongolia. I don't want to lose them or have to fight the Russians, although that's the weakest of the Russias. And Mongolia also declared one on the, on the other Russia. Dude, they're they're smart. They're they're doing a little bit of a Hitler move. Once you start to lose, they're like, okay, let's just attack everything. Come on, my boys. Move in. Give me that claim. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose land to all the Russias. There we go. Move in, boys. Move in as quickly as you can. I mean, they are making some progress. Just hope it's gonna be enough. Yeah, even against Mongolia, it seems like I've done already the lion's share. Oh no, actually, that's not me. 25% almost. It's rising. It's rising, but it's not that incredible. It's all of this land is, is also cores of Mongolia, so that's good. I've caught up on the Russian Republic. I still have to catch up on their People's Revolutionary uh, Army. But we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. I still do not understand why I decided that they... Had to attack everyone around them. But here we are. And there you go. Finish the army reforms. Good. Our army will be as strong as a western army. Which these days doesn't mean much. But back in the day, it was also kind of eh. But then again, pretty much every army was trash. Including the Germans. They were just fast. They didn't actually have any power. There you go. We almost have half of all the participation. So that's good. Now we just need Mongolia to fall and we'll be golden. I think we should be able to get everything then. Look at this nice little instrument. Good. Those are dead. Now let's delete all of this and restructure our front line a little bit. It's kind of a mess. Good. I kind of hope that these guys could just stop attacking. Thank you. No need to push into um, Feng Qian just yet. Well, soon we'll be able to, I think. I'm seeing that they are trying to push into me. What? Fuck it. If it's going to be like that, I'll push into you. See if you like that. Oh, Orga's about to fall. Good. It did fall. Not to us, sadly, but... Whatever. They are close to the edge, though. We're actually closer to that Shanghai Guan supply hub than I thought. Might even attempt a cheeky little reclamation. Oh, it's over. Beautiful. All right. This is a good start, I guess. And then boom, boom. And then Mongolia itself, Jungaria. The rest, sadly, we cannot. But that's okay. They all went to Russia. We got most of it anyway. So who cares, right? And of course, we'll annex Mongolian lands. It will be all ours. Okay, now that we're here, I think it's time to um, attempt pushing it now. The Feng Chen have uh, waited far too long for us to get started. I'll put them out of their misery. Oh, we can even lead armies. That's impressive. Okay. I'll preemptively start putting my guys on coastal defense just in case. Because eventually we'll most likely have to deal with Japan. Oh, and Indochina. Now that I look at it. Let's also get Chengde because it has a supply hub. It's very important to us. Historical value or something like that. Beautiful. I think now that we have that, let's try and push out. Keep them on their toes. Oh, look at that. We're about to get our former... There we go. Supply hub acquired. Oh, damn. They're really out of, running out of steam already, huh? The Feng Chen? I'm surprised it's that easy. I'm just waiting until the Japanese join in. So that usually happens once the Feng Chen are close to dying. See? I knew it. Good thing we got units ready. What the hell? All right, finish it up, my dudes. Oh, I forgot about this one. That's okay. It seems that we're doing fine anyway. Let's guard Port Arthur for the Pyongyang before they realize what's going on. Oh, Feng Ching's actually dead. Never mind. We still need to go to Pyongyang before Japan realizes what's going on. Because that's a supply hub that I would dearly love to have. We also have this army right here, right? And go deal with this pesky little tile. Oh, damn it. They already have troops in there. Quick, crush him before they realize. Yes, we got Pyongyang. And I'll kick him out of Korea. So that we get our cool little event that tells him to fuck off. All right, there we go. We did uh, get an instrument and now we're going to go deal with the rest. Shouldn't take us too long. Oh, we're even about to take Seoul. They're really underprepared this time. Usually, Japan puts up way better of a fight. We can form the Chinese United Front, but there's no other Chinas to form a United Front with. I appreciate the gesture, though. There we go. We're about to take... Beautiful. The... 
sea tile as ours. Now deal with the rest, right? Oh, there we go. It's done. It's pretty much done. And now China is again kicked in. I guess we need to clean up this one tile as well, huh? And it's cleaned up. At some point, we should get an event. There we go. Fading sun in 160. Oh, never mind. Not even in 160 days. There we go. We did it. We did it. Oh, emergency conscription is not even needed, apparently. Well, that makes sense. Fate of Korea, you know what? Liberate the loyal Korea. Why not? They're innocent in all of this. Let's click to form the Republic of China. There we go. Green China. A beautiful Christian Crusader state. Christian Crusader China. Triple C. I like that. Can I demand? No, I cannot demand the islands of, well, the, the trade port trees or treaty ports, I guess, off of the Western boys, which is a shame. But this is fine, although I prefer the other name on the map. But anyway. That is pretty much it for this campaign. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. And uh, hopefully, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.